my lovely Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are excited about these new beginnings that are unfolding. Before we get into your reading, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be dropping the release of the Pendulum gift box. As you guys can see here, uh, we have pendulums that have been consecrated, ritualized in uh, ceremonial magic, uh, specifically for you to contact or deal with spirit guides and your ancestors. Um, that you can find in the pendulum. Uh, we have herbs and crystals that are protective, as well as it comes with a uh, protective uh, vial, as well as a necklace. You guys can see those here. I know it's not the best um, presentation, <laughs> but you guys, it is exactly 3.55 in the morning right now. Um, sorry, 4.55 in the morning right now. Uh, we are a bit tired. <laughs> And we're going to be dropping that, um, we're going to drop that uh, pendulum gift box next week on Friday, which is going to be, let me check really quick, you guys, because I am exhausted. It's been a long day. Uh, so it's going to be next week, Friday, the 21st. So you guys can check that out in my online store. You'll be able to find that. I want to put it out there. There is only a limited amount. We only did 50. That's all we're going to be doing. Uh, so you guys go check that out if you're trying to get uh, your pendulum and if you're trying to work or start to work with spirits and your ancestors to get guidance, etc. Uh, that's the way to go, especially when they're ritualized. You're not just calling any type of freaking energy. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of for this month of May 2021 in regards to love and romance. So I decided to do this a bit different. I'm going to be pulling out cards for you with one deck. And then I'm going to be pulling out the partner or person of your interest with the other deck. So it's two different tarot decks that we're using here. Let's get into it. All right, Taurus. Your first card here is the Four of Pentacles. The Emperor card. The Lovers. Ooh, we got options, you guys. Okay. Death card, major transformation going on. Six of Pentacles and the Moon card. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is someone in this connection or in this relationship. For some of you guys, there could have been an ending of a relationship. For others of you, there was an ending, but there is also some type of resistance so it could be that you're still dealing with the person, uh, although you guys are not actively together at the present time. Uh, this could be a situation of either dealing with them on everyday basis or for some of you guys even living under the same roof. For others of you, you're in a relationship that has came to some type of culmination. Um, but there is almost like there's resistance. You guys are not, someone here is not wanting to accept it. Um, I see you very guarded, Taurus, and I feel that for a lot of you, it's like you feel at this point that you have put enough effort. I feel that you are being more kind of pulling back your energy. Um, the death card and the moon, though, there, there's... There's something you're not wanting to accept or the partner is not wanting to accept. I feel that the majority of you guys are dealing with almost like a situation where kind of like, yeah, I feel like this relationship has come to an end, um, but I'm here for the kids or I'm here because financially I can do it on my own. Or um, it's like making up excuses of why you choose to remain there. And at the end of the day, what they're saying is you're still choosing. Choosing is a choice. Um, I feel you guys have invested too much effort. You've put up with too much drama or BS at this point. And what they're telling you is you need to find structure or you need to find the courage to walk away from this situation, Taurus. You have to be stronger. You have to be 
it's something about structure so it's either find like figuring out your finances and stop using that as an excuse for others of you figuring out how you're going to do it moving forward if there's kids involved like stop creating scenarios of why you, you're choosing to be there like there's there's no other scenarios other than you're actively choosing um there is some type of resistance here and i feel like you're at crossroads right now taurus there's almost like a feeling of wanting to i, I feel you guys very frustrated to be honest um now, for others of you, especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, and I mean a long time, uh, what they're telling you is suppressing uh, your sexual appetite or desire is only creating this suppressed pent-up aggression. Um, pay or be mindful of that. Pay attention to that. Uh, because being under the influence or having a few, you know, a few drinks, a few glasses of wine or whatever, it will quickly go to your head and you may be tempted to either rush something, meaning like a booty call, something like if that's what you're into, that's fine. But what they're saying here is there's something that you're still not releasing. Um, and this could be for some of you guys, this could be you came out of a marriage, a very long term marriage that really scarred you or really um did a number on you and it's almost like you're at a point where you're like i'm not going to sacrifice myself i'm not going to put myself out there because i don't want to be hurt anymore um but what they're telling you here is you're focusing primarily in the experience that you went through and and that's what's keeping you from being able to move forward or to progress for those of you guys that are single, I do see a Gemini or Scorpio coming your way. Pisces energy here or Cancer as well. Um, Aries energy present here as well. So let's go with the partner or person of interest. You have the King of Swords, Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We have the Eight of Cups walking away. The Justice card made up their decision. Three of Swords, Page of Wands. And the Ten of Swords, yeah. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel that for some of you guys, you're dealing with a relationship that has been over or has came to its conclusion a long time ago. And it's like you're in denial or not wanting to fully heal from that. For some of you guys, I see you guys holding on to the situation for dear life. For others of you, this could be your partner from your past, meaning an ex or an ex-husband, ex-wife, that is holding on to this situation. It's almost like, they know they fucked up and they know that they're dealing or have been dealing with karma and they kind of blame you for that um, without really taking the self-responsibility of the role that they played. With the Ten of Swords here, there is, like I said, an ending cycle. Um, Page of Wands does indicate to me communication for some of you guys communicating because there's children involved, etc., but I feel that a lot of the communication that happens, it's like they go, they actively try to make it more difficult just to get back at you. And again, like I said, with the three of swords, it's like, when are you going to take responsibility for the conclusion of this relationship? It doesn't just take one person, you know, the justice card speaks to me about balancing the scales or them having to deal with the hurt and pain that they've caused in the past. Um, what they are saying, though, is, again... If you're dealing with the situation that you choose or have chosen to be single uh, because of the hurt and strife and difficulties that you went through in the past, like stop living in that past. I hear you saying, I'm over them. I don't think of them, but yet the fond memories or the best moments you've experienced, you experience in a couple or in a relationship. And what they're telling you is it's not so much of you missing the person per se. It has more to do with the feeling of knowing that you are emotionally supported. So it's time for you to completely release yourself from that karmic cycle, Taurus. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Well, my lovelies, I hope this gives you some type of guidance, some type of knowledge. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see each other soon. Till then, take care. Bye.